Now we're going to look at a decrease in demand. We have supply and demand at equilibrium. So we start off our graph with our supply, our demand, our quantity, our price, our equilibrium price, and our equilibrium quantity. Okay. So anytime we have a decrease in demand, we're talking about a shift. Because a decrease in demand is different than a decrease in quantity demanded. Quantity demanded would be a single item. Remember we're on the second stage. We're looking at overall demand for an item. So remember this is now going to be a Piper thing. Preference, income, population, expectations, elasticity, related goods, which are substitutes or complements. So something in one of these changed. So let's say our income decreases. So now all of a sudden, if our paycheck is lower, um, national income can go down because GDP decreases, because taxes are raised, or consumer confidence is destroyed. I'm sorry, no, that doesn't count. Income, if minimum wage is lowered, something like that. So that would create a decrease in consumption, which is demand, which is part of SIG X. So we're looking at the people, the buyers right here. So now we know our income decreases, we just can't buy as much. So demand is going to decrease. That means it's going to shift to the left. Remember, this is zero and this is more. So we increase right or decrease left. So in this case, I know demand is going to go down or shift to the left. So now I have my, I know it's going to the left. I start from demand curve. Now I'm going to create a new one called demand curve one. I did not say anything about supply changing. One step at a time. Just leave it at that. So now I have a new demand curve with the same amount of supply or stuff on the shelf. So our new equilibrium, where D1 crosses our same supply curve, I know that people don't want stuff, the price will not remain high. So if people don't want it, the price will go down. Also, the quantity demanded will decrease. So now I go from Q, sorry, that's supposed to be a Q and a 1. I go from Q to Q1. I promise that's a Q. So I have my decrease in demand, showing my new equilibrium price. So I know price is going to decrease, and the quantity that was wanted is going to decrease. So this is how we show a shift of a decrease in demand.